Hey guys, it's Investor Doctor Academy here. Alright, it's been a, a very long time that I haven't been upload any video. Uh, just want to let you guys know that we are reopen our FKRI and SCPO course. So if you guys are interested about our, our course, can contact um, any link that provider under this video to um, to to know more of, about our new FKRI and SCPO course. Okay, so let me brief on our course before we enter some analysis about um, how we then FKI and FCPO market and then how we gonna trade for, for, for next week. So I will share some ideas on how how my view about uh, Malaysia market last week and then how I gonna trade for the next week. So our course right is um got two categories. So if let's say FKI we have FKI analysis and trading class and same for the FCPO. All right, so what we will cover in this is that for our analysis class, we will cover the basic like the fundamental analysis, technical analysis. Besides that, we will cover also uh, what is the cycle. Okay, do they have any certain cycle for the for the FKRI or FCPO? Then other than that, we will also share some more factors to watch uh, when we uh, want to analyze the market, like the news, right? We have we know how to filter the news, whether that particular factor will affect the short-term market, medium-term or long-term. So it will help to structure our trading strategy, whether we are a short-term investor, if we are short-term trader or long-term investor. So uh, about the trading class, trading class we will move into a very practical, like how to uh, build an entry strategy and then how to select our exit strategy, like when to take profit, when to cut loss. Okay, and also if you, able to trade more than one lot like let's say you 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 trade about 10 lot or 20 lot or let's say 100 lot so, so when to enter and enter how much when to when 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 to cut and when to add your position and and how many that you need to add okay and then we'll move to our capital management which is quite essential when we trading futures because we knowing that the futures is using margin all right so how many man how much money that do i have to put okay so that will avoid me to from any margin call. All right, so we will share on that for in our classes too. All right. So let's move on to how I gonna analyze market for last week. Okay, so quick way. If let's say you have a uh, like you 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 busy for your work or you have a big business to do. So what can I do? Is that how I analyze and build the training strategy at a very fast way okay so normally what i will do is i will look around the news what happened on last week and then um not particular news but um around what team the market and looking at it now so for malaysia right uh we can if you read the news and, and the news is really Im important then we can know that for last week the market is still uh work around like COVID, like the vaccine and also the US Treasury yield. So we can know that um, this is what market talked about re recently. So we will con continue to watch out these kind of factors and then also any new factor that may affect the market. All right. So another thing is that we will monitor what will uh what is related market behalf. Okay, like let's say we will look at the US and Europe. So we can see that uh, US and Europe fall on the last Friday. So this uh, quite possibly then the Malaysian market will get down on tomorrow, which is Monday. All right. So uh, the trading strategy will be built based on the possible get down on FKI. So if you move to the FKI chart, okay, I will uh, analyze from weekly chart to daily chart, to hourly chart, and then at, at, at the end, 15 minute chart. So I will cover from the long-term trend to the short-term trend. Okay, so if we analyze on weekly chart, we can see there is a dodgy light candle. So we can see that there is not, not much movement for Malaysian market based on last week. So from daily chart, we can see that the last five days is mostly in sideways. And then the overall trend now is uh, in a technical correction, but already, entering sideways so we can see here so most of my trading strategy i will build based on the sideways so i will 
and we'll build a sideways trading strategy. Okay, so based based on the the long term trend and also the short term trend is more to a, a consolidation. So we can see that there is not much uh, like extreme news happen on the market re recently. So move to our chart, we can also see that is a sideway here. Okay, it's a sideway. It don't have any extreme movement. And then at the end, fifty minute chart. Okay, it's also like a sideway here. You can see that. Okay, so let me share a very simple uh sideway trading strategy. Okay. First one, you can trade based on RSI overbought and oversaw. Mm, I wish I think will more accurate, but 15 minutes can work well too. All right, if you trade based on the RSI overbought and oversaw, because of doing a sideways trend, right? Uh, RSI work very well. The 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 what the profitability of RSI is quite June one. Now. So um. The second point is that we will find a resistance, okay, meaning the upper band of the sideway, which is here, here, and then the lower band of the sideway, which is here. Okay, so the lower band of the sideway is like about 1610 to 1615, and then the upper band of the resistance will be about uh, 1630 to 1635. So, my uh, trading strategy will be based on I will find a long signal or, or a buy signal uh, around 1610 to 1615 and then the sell signal will be around 1630 to 1635 until there's a breakout signal whether it's go up or down okay but based on the front market we can see that just like just now what we mentioned is that uh, FI probably will get down by tomorrow. So if we get down right, it will, I think it will test the 1610 support level first. Okay, so uh, I will fight on my long signal first. Okay, I will, long, I will look for my long signal first. So as a summary here, okay, I will Man, I, I will focus on the sideways trading strategy for FTRI and also continue to monitor out what will be the team um, around market recently. Okay, so here will be the end of FTRI. Let's move on to FCPO. How FCPO look like for the last week? So FCPO is you really need to study and pay attention to the data release. So re Recently, the data showing that um, the production re recover, but also the export uh, recover as well. So now we're going to compare the speed of the recovery, okay, based on the production and then versus the export, okay. So which will recover faster, okay, because it will affect what will be the end stock for the next few months, okay. But for now, right, we can see that um, the Export is recovery much more faster than the production. So that's why the FCPO is still maintained is uh, more to bullish trend. All right. And then we will look at the other commodities related product, which the is movement or direction can uh quite similar to FCPO, I, I can say. So normally I will look at the crude oil, we can see it's re rebound back to $60. And then I will look at the soybean oil, okay, also going up. And then the new things that I will look at the the China palm oil because I think uh China is the major important of the Malaysia palm oil so that's why the movement of the China palm oil can really affect how it moves like in Malaysia so we can see see here the last Friday is also up about one percent so it's it's quite more to bullish trend okay so we can conclude that the 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 what the FCPO fundamental actually is more to bullish and then the third market is also more to bullish and then I will analyze based on the technical side all right so this is how I'm going to build my strategy I look at the fundamental I look at the related market and then I will look at the, the technical side okay so technical side we can see here is like a long black or long red candle which and entirely cover the previous green can candle okay so we can call that is a either the dark cloud cover or the bearish in in graphing so both of them will be a bearish topic reversal signal so which meaning that they 
that is likely the next week also will we'll move in more to bearish trend. We can see here, okay, it's happened on, 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 on last signal. All right, so uh, in, not necessarily it will go a, a bear trend, but um, it also can trigger a technical correction. Okay, so if you move to the daily chart, we can see here last week, mostly fall. Okay, we can see here lower low and lower high. Okay, so it likely to retest the lower band of Bollinger Band, which is about 3450. Okay, so we can see now the wave in the in the corrective wave, lah, in the technical correction from ISI overbought. If you follow our channel, so the FCPL training strategy, we also will, we got, got mentioned that uh, is that the FCPL got a high chance that it will have a technical correction from our ISI overbought. So our chart, we can also see that in, in a corrective wave, technical correction in the bullish trend. So at the end, 15 minutes, also showing the same thing. Okay, also showing, showing the same thing. All right, so fundamentally it's more to bullish. So if it is drop line, I will find a buy signal. All right, but technically it will have a possible technical correction signal. So uh, if it, it any upside also will find a short, short signal. So my strategy can be on both buy and sell. All right, so we look at the letter signal. So we can see here the letter support will be the last Friday low, which is about 3667. All right, okay, so, so above support here, I will look at for a buy signal first. So that means I will buy around this area, this, this price range with about 3667. I will, I will build a, a buy strategy here. Okay, if we break lower and then I will turn to a short sell strategy. Okay, but right now, if you see it haven't break yet, uh, I will build a buy strategy here. Okay, or I will buy a stretch, buy a uh, a buy signal here, which is ab above three seven six five lah, the the last Friday high. Okay, the short sell signal I think you can find here, but this here I think it's quite near lah, three seven six five. So if me I will look at this side, which is three eight five six above this range, I will look a uh, sell signal. Okay, here I'm not certain yet. I need to monitor the real time market to determine whether can short here, okay? But here, I think will be a good short sell signal because it's already up about more than 100 points, okay? So here will, will be my first buy signal. If it break be below this level, I will, I will turn to a sell signal, okay? So this is how I will build for my FCPO strategy, okay? So again, for FDLI, is mostly sideways trading strategy based on not much news from the market, okay? Uh, but it's probably gonna get down by tomorrow. And then for FCPO, we can see that the fundamental is more to bullish. So tomorrow maybe got a chance to get up, all right? But get up, right? I think I will look for a sell signal first time if it get up. Because, because the technically is still showing, indicating the uh, technical correction signal. So it didn't get right. I think the market is quite got a chance to, 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 to close the gap. All right, so the short, the short start strategy will be based on the technical correction from the technical wise, and then the long strategy uh, because the fundamental is still more to bullish. All right, so this will be all my sharing about FKL and FCPO, uh, how it behave from last week and how I'm going to trade, how I'm going to build a strategy, training strategy for next week. So any daily training strategy, you can uh, follow my channel to no more, all right? The channel link also included below this video. And also, before I end the sharing today, again, uh, if you're interested on our FKO and FCPO course, uh, please do not hesitate to contact our phone number or, or email, which is also provided under this video. All right, so this will be end for the sharing today. Thank you, guys.